I am Simona, I'm part of the Access S team, of course, and I'm here today with uh, Enrico Vaccari. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to present to you another important part of our uh, offer, of yeah. our solutions, uh, which are the TV uh, turnkeys. Uh, Perfect, yes. Okay, and, uh, and solutions. So if you have any questions or any doubt, uh, anything to share with us during this live event, Please do not hesitate, just click on the bell here below, uh, here above, sorry, and uh, send to us any comments, any questions, any question, okay, any doubt you might, uh, you might have. We will do our best to reply. Yeah, so. of course. Uh, so, Enrico, um, this is another important part. Last week we talked about our radio solutions, yep. okay? And uh, today we want to present uh, our TV, uh, TV solutions. Correct. Um, so, uh, we will uh, share uh, some small uh, image, but uh, before to start, I would like to ask you uh, what uh, we normally uh, and to whom we normally suggest this kind of solution uh, in terms of uh, um, customer needs uh, or um, anything? Okay, for any, I would say any TV channel, any new TV channel or an existing one that needs to renew his... Uh, uh, set up uh, a turnkey visual is always a perfect solution <coughs> that uh, provide a complete setup ready to go on air. Uh, the the main target for such kind of setups are, I would say, not only small, medium, but even big channels. Uh, f first of all, what we have here next to us is mm -hmm. a an example of uh, MCR, so okay. TV Master Control Room. And so there's the need of a MCR in any uh, TV station. So, for example, a TV station that is uh, putting on air media that has been produced uh, in advance, so there's no live shows, a setup like this is more than enough to, to run the channel 24-7. Okay, so to accomplish almost any kind of needs. Correct. And, um, but we also have some PCR solution. Yes, of course. So maybe later during the presentation, we have uh, some slide to, to, share, to share with you where uh, we have uh, you know, the, all the items, all the product, the equipment that are part of this solution. Of course, uh, a TV MCR can be customized according to customer needs mm -hmm. and uh, to accomplish, to satisfy different market needs or in different size of organization. Okay, great. So uh, can you uh, explain to us what is normally included in this kind of uh, solution? Okay, so let's start from the uh, previous uh, slide where this is the main message, you know, it's a TV MCR where everything is supplied. So the equipment, the software, cables, furniture, installation and the training. So as I said before, the scope is to go on air right away in a, in a while. Okay. Uh, and the main items of this uh, setup are the XTV suite. It's of course. A, and our we will, our mm, TV, TV automation. automation. Uh, the DLG Plus, which is the logo and management for logo, graphics, uh, and uh, related items to the playout. Uh, DML, so it's a 24-7 logger. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the last part of the chain, which is getting more and more relevant, is the digital audio processor with loudness control. Okay. So, uh, and this, if, if we go, you can switch to the next slide. Sure. And this is exactly what you get so what you see is what you get for example of course we can customize and configure solution uh, this is one of our most uh, typical uh, setup uh, it's typically we show this during our exhibition that unluckily this year uh, we are missing yeah. exhibition <laughs> and show trade shows so much so as you see it's uh, this setup can be w uh, connected, installed in a mm -hmm. in few hours, uh, I would say a couple of hours is more than enough because the system is pre-wired and delivered, ready to go on air. So the customer just have to uh, put the media in, into, the, into the local storage and it's, then it's ready to go on air because it's really plug and play. Okay, that's great. So let's focus on this uh, master control room yeah. uh, equipment. 
Uh, normally, uh, we suggest to control one channel. Of yes, course. of course. And uh, which kind of uh, sources uh, can we manage from this kind of um, MCR? Perfect. So, uh, as you said, it is th the design we are showing today is intended for one channel, but mm -hmm. we can scale it up to okay. multiple channels a lot. So, uh, really, we had solution with 20 channels and something like that. Okay. So, uh, for big, big organizations or okay. satellite uh, platforms and so on. Okay. The, the, the feeds and the signals we can manage with these systems are, you know, all the available and possible signals. So it's, uh, of course, natively, it's digital uh, SDI HD, mm -hmm. the system, but we can also deliver the output to a satellite, a digit DVB-T uh, internet uh, okay. and whatever. Okay. Not OTT. only, sorry, yes, an OTT. So okay. at the end of the day, this setup is uh, suitable for any kind of TV stations. So it doesn't matter, as I said, if, if it's intended for web streaming or satellite, or terrestrial or analog. So okay, that's uh, for as far as concerned the output. What about the input? Can we manage uh, live events, for example? Oh, sure. Yeah, so, yeah. So, it, part of the. Now, if we go through the, through the presentation, uh, you'll see, uh, this, this is the XTV TV automation, but you'll see that part of the integration is also a video a routing switcher, okay. which is most of the time we, we, we go for a Blackmagic Black brand or okay. something like that. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't really matter if you like Blackmagic can be Blackmagic. If you like a different brand, uh, okay. we can you replace can it. Okay. And so according to the capability and the numbers of input and output of the routing switcher or the video switcher, uh, we can accept uh, any kind of feed but XTV which is in between so it's the automation is also capable to receive incoming uh, feeds uh, over IP mm -hmm. so you can you can manage uh, feeds uh, external feeds uh, from streaming from the web uh, okay. or from a studio okay. or in satellite feed or whatever okay that's great so uh, let's focus just a little bit on our X XTV. We already had some live session about it, and uh, it yeah, really it's, it's, a, it's a huge world to explore. Uh, but just to give an idea. Yeah, uh, the scope of today is to give an overview about the solution. In, if you are interested in uh, knowing in detail about XTV, you, just, you can find, yeah, you, can you can look at the video on YouTube about uh, focused on, uh, on XTV. Uh, in few words, XTV is our, as I said, TV automation. Uh, it's a, actually, it's a package. It's a suite. Mm -hmm. So it includes a utility for playout automation. I think I have a screenshot here or the machine running. And okay. this is what Great. we have this on our layout. screen right now. Uh, so this is a playlist uh, with loops, uh, capability of adding uh, graphics uh, and so on. Then let me go back here. It also includes a lot of other softwares, as you see on the screen, Playout, Capture, Streaming, Scheduling, CG Composer. So some of them, especially Scheduling and Composer, mm -hmm. are ni very nice utility. I believe I also have another screenshot, very easy to use, okay. that can be installed free of charge on other networked computers. So okay, while I'm on air from the MCR, my colleague can take care okay, about work on playlist the scheduling. scheduling. Okay. Same concept is nice. uh, for the uh, CG composer. I'm not a technician. I believe is somewhere here in background. I will go back to the CG composer later. Okay, no problem. We have some questions just uh, to warm us a little bit. Uh, so, David. Hi, David. Uh, thank you for sending us your question. Can we install the turnkey by, by ourselves? I'm asking due to the COVID restrictions, of course. Yes, of course. And this <laughs> is why we are pre presenting today uh, this kind of setup. Imagine that uh, when you receive a setup like this, you get a rack, the rack which is uh, next to, to you, Simona. Maybe it's completely pre-wired. So actually there's a, um, I don't know, I don't know how to say. There are some cables coming out of the rack on the, on the side. Mm -hmm. Uh, and just to connect keyboard, as you see on my desktop, keyboard, mouses, and screen. 
and also the two monitors on top. So I would say that with uh, something like 10 cables, 12 cables, power cord and, and HDMI monitors and KVM, uh, that's it. So You can manage it. And of course, we can help you by remote. Uh, not only. When we supply turnkey solution, we also provide the schematics. Of course. So, so every the system cable project will come together with all yeah. the equipment. And the system schematics include the cables with numbers. So it's really like assembling an IKEA furniture. You know, it's a, it's a 10 minutes. Uh, I, no, not 10 minutes, I'm it's, it's too short, but I would say during an exhibition in roughly two hours, a non-technician, yeah. non someone like me, is able to set it up and make it work. Okay. Then also in terms of training, most of those software are very extremely easy to use. So I would say that you can run the system by yourself without our need. Then of course, we also provide after sales support. Mm -hmm. So for little tips and tricks uh, and, uh, and helps, we can, we can help you from remote. Of course. Uh, another question from uh, uh, Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Thank you for your question. Does, the, uh, does this MCR allow streaming on social media? The answer is yes. And nowadays, the streaming uh, is something uh, that can be, it's, it's a feature available in mm -hmm. Most of our softwares, as you see, for example, the e X Playout itself, uh, there's a section called IP streaming. And here you have IP streaming. You can manage two streaming at a time with, uh, I don't want to go deep in detail also because this is not my job. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, you can. Normally, what you stream is not the output coming out from the X Playout but it's the, the PGM, the program, mm -hmm. which, is, which can be made of external feed, as we said before. And so we can take the final output from the video switcher, in the, even if, the, if, in, if in this case uh, we have, we're using an ATEM switcher, so it's totally SDI, there's no IP in ATEM. Okay. Uh, but we have the last part of our video chain, which is the logger, which is the 24-7 con continuous of, recording. Of course, recording which has the capability to log, to record, and at the same time deliver a streaming to the, to the okay. social media or to your media server, media okay. provider. <coughs> okay, that's great. Uh, then we have a third question from uh, Zach Dim. Thank you for, uh, for your question and uh, welcome to you too. Does the titler that comes within the XTV software work only in mm. HD configuration and not in SD? as mine? No, yeah, finally, what you do here, it can work also in SD. Uh, I think, uh, let me run here the CG Composer, just to give you a quick overview. You can set the entire, ch according to your final playout, mm -hmm. you can work in HD and eventually, if your out main output is SD, you can do the downscaling at the very okay. end, uh, uh, or you can set the entire chain in standard definition. As you see here on the desktop, uh, uh, I don't know if you can see my desktop right now, here you are able to define, I, I'm now running the CG Composer, which is the, the tool, the free of charge, that allows yeah, you to compose graphics. And as you see, resolution can be selected according to your format. So SD, HD, PAL, NTSC, and so on. Uh, let me try to retrieve, load uh, an example. Clock, I don't know, crawl, a logo. Okay, anyway, I would say to uh, Zach Team, if you have any further question about this, you can contact our support department and uh, for sure we will help you to figure it out, okay? Uh, so, uh, we can go further on our presentation. presentation and just have a quick view of uh, the other components of okay. our turnkey solution. The, the next step, we, were, we just talked about the playout mm -hmm. that can include as well graphics sure. and many other features. Uh, the next item is the DLG Plus, which is an external software 
to manage uh, graphics. So okay. uh, this is intended for, you know, sometimes you have an external feed and uh, it, what we normally suggest is that if you have an external feed and you need to put a log on top mm -hmm. or add a titling, scrolls and ticker, uh, exactly as we see here on the big screen uh, next to us, um, then we prefer not to manage the graphic that comes within XTV. But it's nice to have a, with a feeling key available on the switcher. Okay. And so graphic is generated by DLG. And let me retrieve the, the screenshot, the GUI here. Here it is. I think now you see it. And from uh, DLG Plus, I can retrieve, uh, uh, here is the preview. I don't know, it's a music channel. I can select different layouts mm -hmm. and just in a, in a click, Babam, change it and have it on air, you see here. So these are some of the examples that we provide. As you okay. see, graphics are very nice and smooth. Yeah. And whatever is already on the screen, like those two logos, uh, remains exactly as they are. So with a nice, without, uh, uh, let's say, any defect. So it comes very, very, very nice. Of course, with the CG player that I was showing you, you can customize uh, graphic as you want and all those metadata the nice thing is you can uh, rely on what we call external sources so this text to make life simple and easy all this information like okay, uh, the, the stocks uh, tickers uh, yeah. can be retrieved automatically uh, from uh, I don't know Excel files okay. uh, on your network uh, you have you have journalists uh, writing news uh, from TXT from databases uh, um, it also get a very nice feature. It can import metadata or information from Excel. Okay. So that makes life extremely easy Easier because if you have an Excel file with formulas, uh, with also images, as you see on the ticker here, we have nice animated image, uh, images. This is something that normally it's available with very, very, very high-end uh, graphics uh, okay. and chart sure. generator. Uh, and so this makes life extremely easy and your journalist can prepare contents okay. and the operator on air, he doesn't care, he just have to retrieve a layout like this is a media shopping okay. and that's it. Okay. So I don't care about the content, someone else uh, will, will okay. do that. So while we manage uh, live sessions as we already um, mentioned when when we spoke about uh, XTV, we can also manage the graphics for the live events. Correct. That's great. And then I, th uh, I think there's another question. Okay, that's great. Hi, Zach. Thank you again. Can I have an MCR that it's full HD or 4K? Yes, definitely. Yes. It ranges SD to HD. Yes. Uh, yeah, maybe at the beginning I said SD and HD, but it can be 4K, it can go up to, you know, well, any yeah. ratio. Nowadays, the real limit is the power of the CPU. Okay. So everything is PC-based here. So normally, uh, the playout is running on a computer with Blackmagic mm -hmm. DeckLink card. With a DeckLink uh, 8K, mm -hmm. we can, of course, manage uh, such kind of resolutions. Okay. So and, and normally, we supply an i7. Recently, we also supply i9 for 4k configurations mm -hmm. let's say that with the norm with the standard solution we can manage both hd and hd and then we can upgrade up to 4k yeah, the the real benefit is that uh, the same setup is suitable for doesn't matter what's your final output format and luckily also video switcher nowadays with 4k again from black magic mm -hmm. but as I said, you can use any other brand, uh, depend on your budget. Uh, that's the main, uh, yeah. that's the main <laughs> issue. We will, we will come but there. We will reach, yeah, <laughs> we will talk about the budget uh, the okay. <laughs> a little later. <laughs> sure. And uh, so we already mentioned the um, live events on social media, but yeah. how can we manage the fees coming from social media? We have a tool for it. Yeah. So, uh, that's not the right one, it's later because yeah. normally, the, oh, okay, first of all, XTV can manage streaming output 
as a play out, but mm -hmm. you can get also feeds coming from the internet. Okay. That's great. And add them into your playlist, and this can be scheduled as a live event. Okay. So the scheduler also allows you to, 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 to define at what time your external feed will be aired. Okay, great. Uh, next step is the DML, as I said, the digital media logger, 24 mm -hmm. 7 recording. Okay. It's something that you normally forget because it keeps working yeah, uh, in background. Itself. In okay. background. But it's very, very, very nice because, first of all, input, can, we can put a card inside with a built-in tuner okay so we can record you can record your local output so the uh, the sdi output mm -hmm. which is not exactly as uh, according to the recommend low recommendation okay. but of course you can also record from the antenna so, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter as uh, satellite or dvbt and again with a simple card cost effective the machine itself can record what is uh, received at home, the okay. off-air signal. That's great. So what people are actually seeing. Correct. And uh, again, also DML uh, it's, is, uh, can be configured as a single channel or mm -hmm. can be scaled up uh, up, up to, to whatever. Whatever. Okay. Correct. <laughs> and also, it also acts as a little uh, alarm system of your TV oh, station. Okay, that's nice. Because while during the recording, so the, the surveillance of the channel, yeah. it also detects if there's no audio, there's no video. Maybe you have issue with your transmitter and you don't know. or the oh, okay. operator that puts you on air, uh, the carrier for DVBT is, has, is having issues. So you, are no, you can be notified in case of missing of audio, freezed frame, missing of video, or for example, okay, uh, the. Any issue coming from or if the system is not able to store what uh, the law obliges you to do. So the night typically is 90 days. Okay, great. So let's uh, move quickly to the yeah. next uh, and late uh, step of this standard um, uh, configuration. But then we can set up whatever you might need. Okay. As we this said, is this is a like standard. a pizza. Okay. okay, we can add the tomato, yes. mozzarella, not pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> because in Italy it's forbidden. Not here. <laughs> it's illegal okay. here. So yeah. The, the processor. The audio, digital audio processor and loudness control. That's uh, extremely important because most of the time uh, when you watch it, first of all, it's, uh, it's, you are in many, many countries and today, nowadays you are mm -hmm. obliged by the law to manage uh, your loudness. Okay. And this is to avoid bouncing of audio from one program to the other and when you're you are watching the TV and your wife screams hey lower the TV yeah. because <laughs> the the ads were higher or you know one 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 audio was not properly managed so at the end of the chain doesn't matter where the video comes from because most of the time production can come from many many sources and everybody okay. has his own audio level you have this Falcon D7 which is our latest development that manage the audio with AGC and loudness control and does okay. it automatically and in a brilliant way. That's and so, great. so that was our standard uh, complete integration for the MCR. Just to recap, it also includes what you see is what you get and it's true because mm -hmm. it's included the screens we have in front of us. Um, of course, we keep it up to date time after time. Yeah. So during the, sure. uh, there's a video switcher built in, uh, uh, audio mo near field monitors so speakers to listen the big screens in background but of okay. course if you already have some available uh, screens and whatever is not part of the core mm -hmm. uh, already available at the TV we can always uh, take advantage and save some money okay that's why normally when we receive some uh, this kind of um, of request from our customers we may make a lot of questions uh, but this is just in order to understand your actual needs and provide you with the solution, the right solution for your needs. Okay? Yeah. Okay, that's great. And so that we can move um, forward? Yeah, the next uh, slide is probably and, uh, yeah. very, very interesting because... Okay, yeah. It is, <laughs> since we are... Uh, since we are from sales <laughs> department, correct. <laughs> That's and I think it's a... Uh, so let's talk a little bit about pricing. Yeah, this is just to give an idea an about idea, the course. investment because, uh, you, you know, you see nice things and you never know, okay, but How what's much? roughly, <laughs> what's the investment for such solution? Okay. And so uh, here on the screen, we have two setups. This is exactly the one we are using right now. Mm -hmm. 
and this is a little more compact and minimized solution with mm -hmm. where instead of two screens you have only one the XTV is the same application yeah, it's a there's compact, uh, a smaller item and so as you see just to give you an idea from 39 as a turnkey solution to 17,000 nearly Okay. But of course, we can find solution in between, in between or and, up to, of course. and even lower because the advantage of delivering also furniture that you may have it already and it can be also expensive in terms of shipment. But the real benefit is you save a lot of money in terms of wiring, cabling, installation and allows you to go on air very, very quickly. quickly. But if you have the skill, the technician and the capability to put things together, feel yeah, free to ask and we... Of. And we can sell, as we normally do, mm -hmm. the single items. Uh, okay. I That's think great. there's another question. Yes, yeah, uh, <laughs> which is linked actually to what we are going to see next. Uh, so okay, let's move sorry. To our PCR. Oh, uh, just a couple of, an idea of a couple of uh, uh, screens of MCR, Master Control Room. For example, this is a multi-channel. I think mm -hmm. this customer was running, is running 12 channels, as far as I remember. Okay. With uh, redundancy, of course, N plus one. But we're, now we are talking something to be customized. Yeah, a, a big organization, uh, yep. of course. So let's move to the PCR, which brings us to the next question. Uh, can the DLG retrieve comments directly from social media? Yes, it can. It's uh, now, uh, before answering to Isaac. Yeah, Isaac, <laughs> again, sorry. Thank you for your question. Uh, let me introduce the, M the PCR, so mm -hmm. production control room. Yes. Uh, basically, it's the same, same things we were saying about this uh, setup for master control room. Now we are moving into production. Okay. And so production is connected to a studio where you have mm -hmm. cameras. It's a little bigger than this simply because normally you have to accommodate to fit onto the table the control panel for your video okay. switcher. And next, maybe the audio controls. Uh, okay, maybe you have to manage more yeah, tasks. More, yeah, more uh, little devices. Uh, where here is the list on the screen of our equipment mm -hmm. that are involved into the into a product. Into a typical okay. package of product managed used during a production. And we, before we go in deep in detail of each one of them, we have you play which is an instant playout for mm -hmm. play and capture. Umix, and Umix is a very nice tool to add uh, uh, IP feed uh, to a traditional SDI console mm -hmm. and allow, enable it to, to run feeds from socials, uh, from internet and so on. Okay. CG Live, and this is again for titling, but it's a different skin of the DLG we saw before, okay. while where CG Live it's mainly designed for interactivity, for operation during a production. Okay. While whatever we saw before in in a MCR mm -hmm. can work perfectly also unattended. Unattended, of course. And again, social and the last item is social media, social hub. And again, this is to collect uh, okay. messages and communication with the From audience. From the social uh, And that's for media. engagement okay. and interactivity, interactivity sorry, with, the, with the audience. Okay, that's so great. Uh, okay, just one step for, uh, back. Yeah. Uh, David, thank you for your question, David. Can I have a multi-channel MCR? Yes, of course. And yes. so, as we said, maybe... I don't know, you, maybe you missed the previous slide. Yeah, we mentioned it at the very beginning of the Yeah, and also probably one of the latest uh, slides yeah. uh, we show with the pictures. Yeah. Uh, one of the pictures was showing at tw oh, this one is a 12-channel uh, setup. Uh, all the screens you see on the top here, some mm -hmm. of them are for the outgoing signal, and then you have also the off-air okay. to monitorize, to, to, to see, to surveil the uh, off-air signals and see if there's any issue and okay. surveil the entire process. That's great. So, so let's start Uplay. with Uplay, which is definitely one of our best, best sellers. sellers. Yeah. And this is one of our best sellers because it, apart the integration uh, in, a, in a PCR, we are delivering Uplay in uh, plenty of different architectures and configuration mm -hmm. from uh, a traditional uh, production suite from a fly case to a OBI van, large OBI van, again, also here 
uh, we can uh, you play manages SDI, NDI, uh, IP feeds, uh, and it's an instant playback, play play and capture multiple channel on the same configuration. So uh, you can manage as you see on the screen here. We have uh, this GUI shows you uh, player one, player two, player three, and player four. Okay. Maybe one goes into your video switcher production video switcher while the other you can feed uh, a big screen or video wall behind a journalist or in your studio feeds uh, okay. for uh, for a studio that's great and if you need to go deeper with you play i would um, warmly suggest to you to check the uh, live demo that marco branzanti our cto made some months ago maybe two yeah. months ago okay during the lockdown uh, you can check it here below in our uh, video playlist and uh, it, it, I think it's something very, very useful uh, just in order to understand the multiple uh, use yeah. you can oh. make of... Um, uh, uh, there's, uh, another, there's another nice thing you can try, you can try it yourself because from our of website, course. both for, I would say, for all the software yeah. I was talk we, were, we are talking about today, yeah. The demo is available on our website and you can download the version which is running perfectly yeah. most of the time with the limitation is just in terms of time so you can run it for some minutes or a few hours depending on the product and you have our logo running on the screen on the program output this is just for to protect sure. the, the course, software our licensing and then we have another another question coming from uh, isaac thank you uh, isaac and uh, it is a very, very interesting one. Can I have only the MCR or the PCR and the, and the MCR come together? Yes, we, we normally call it combo. Okay. So a combination, <laughs> okay. it's uh, to fit both the, to fit all the tools for MCR and PCR, and PCR squeeze together, together mm -hmm. and we can do it perfectly. And again, may I, we need to have a few, um, to exchange a few information to of course. perfectly, define you know the yeah the, the, your your actual needs and normally the, the big challenge is to match technical needs and budget that's the course. hardest part <laughs> as uh, always but this say. is our job uh, of course. and that's what we normally do and with with our engineers they take care about the uh, technical part yeah. while we do our best to fit into a customer budget that's great we so uh Okay, so for you play, if you need some further information, yes. do not hesitate. Plenty to of check other very nice that. feature. Very briefly, oh, first of all, uh, video format, XTV, DLG, and uh, mm -hmm. also you play. They manage. I would say any, any video file yeah. format, any resolution. Uh, there's you can also mix on the same playlist uh, old video, mm -hmm. very old, maybe in SD with a uh, 16 by 9. And uh, the playout takes care it's uh, automatically to adjust and adapt the final output. Which is great. You don't have to work on the on the. Or if you need to do some uh, small, uh, let me say, editing, we call it streaming. We we again we have a, a, a very nice application called the Trimmer, which allows you to preview mm -hmm. and edit any video file for marking, mark out, segmentation. So okay. if you have a file and you want to split it in part one, part two, part three, for advertisement insertions and so on. Okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm running, so I'm just giving you an overview, but there are plenty of very nice features. Of course. So uh, let's move forward to a our- CG Live, in, in a few words, it gives you the same power or the same template we were talking about in DLG. Okay can be played out both by DLG or CG Live, which is technically the same video engine. Okay. What changes is the, 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 the interface of the software. So while in MCR we supply DLG that allows you very quickly to retrieve and mm -hmm. recall a graphic layout in a while, just a button and you are on air. Okay. Uh, and you retrieve the entire layout, graphics uh, templates. In CG Live, then you can go, uh, you can manage item by item individually on okay. uh, of graphic, like during uh, football sport match, events. sport events, okay. talk show, debate, where there's a stronger interactivity in terms of graphics, okay. and you need to. So uh, you need to. 
change quickly. Maybe item by item on the screen without re uh, retrieving an entire template. Okay, that's great. And again, ticker crawl, uh, everything you are look, uh, watching now on the screen, on the main okay. output, uh, animations, uh, and so on. Okay, that's great. Then let's move quickly to uh, Umix. Umix. You already mentioned it. So yeah, as I said, the big advantage is nowadays maybe you have a, a, a video switcher that can mm -hmm. be also an old one that is, is only capable to run SDI or, let's say, discrete uh, physical video signals. Mm -hmm. And uh, nowadays, we have the need to add uh, content that comes from modern uh, formats, IP or NDI or Skype or video from YouTube or screenshot from the web. And so, you mix. It, we, we, we define it as an IP glue mm -hmm. that allows you to get feeds from the web, from IP, from NDI, convert it to SDI and plug it right away into the video mixer. And so this is available on your, uh, one of the input of your video mixer and you can go on here and Umix is the, is the software. Okay, that's great. And then? Social, Social Media Hub. Hub. Okay. That's uh, very nice. It's a, it's a software that can be, uh, you can run it from a, an external computer. Any, any so during a live show, you yeah. may have a media manager that selects uh, the All the comments, comments the messages, uh, all the fees coming from the social media. Correct. You can set up and configure all your accounts. Mm -hmm. You may have multiple accounts. Of course. One per each program or presenters. Yeah, and or, or the director, or, yeah. Perfect. And... Uh, then you can select the program, eventually do some uh, uh, censorship yeah. uh, to prevent, to avoid uh, that, you know, bad words or... Of course. <laughs> we of course. Go, and just within a, with a single button, mm -hmm. send it to the video, to the graphic engine, to DLG or CG Live, okay. and you have them available. And go the okay. next trick, as you know, we, we're struggling uh, following the development on social yeah, media. Yeah, the algorithms uh, are going to change very course, quickly. Of course, Facebook, WhatsApp, they are trying to yeah. create profiles and protect. It's their business. It's actually, their business. So. And now, so there's a little trick that mm -hmm. we de develop to, you know, to avoid and to, okay. to collect this information uh, from the web interface of social media. So we develop an add-on for uh, Chrome uh, that uh, it's an add-on to be installed free of charge mm -hmm. and uh, you can select any text uh, or graphics uh, like the avatar or you know any other graphics on a web page doesn't matter it can be a, a web page uh, not only from social media uh, just collect them uh, select them sorry right click and send it to the graphic engine and this will be displayed on air with tickers in the tickers with graphics and, okay. and text and uh, we forgot to mention, I believe, uh, what technologies, what um, standards, formats are we supporting? And what I would say, at the, at, at we already uh, talk about, yeah. uh, of course, SDI. Mm -hmm. We spend, I, I talk about NDI, maybe very quickly. Yeah. And so everything here, play out and also graphics. So feel and key can be streamed over NDI. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are familiar with a very cost-effective entry solution like Vmix. Mm -hmm. And yes, we can integrate such product perfectly with Vmix as well. So NDI supported SRT, which is, uh, has been added uh, into uh, XTV, our XTV yeah. play out, uh, I think, last Just, month, uh, one month ago. Uh, very recent. Yeah. Uh, WebRTC, which is a very powerful technology because we also develop, uh, you may look on, uh, our at our presentation mm -hmm. in uh, multi-cross converter, so it's yeah. WebRTC is, it, uh, it's is supported uh, also for two-way communication, bidirectional communication okay. with low latency. And uh, we also support Dante. So. This is very important mainly for a production, for the production environment where the Uplay can, uh, the audio can be de-embedded. So as the eye goes onto the video mixer, mm -hmm. while Dante audio is de-embedded and connected to the audio console. And so even again, the wiring becomes very, very, very cost effective and you don't need a lot of boxes to de-embed or re-embed. Okay. And so, Dante Audio is supported as well. That's great. 
So just to, to, to close Ec our here. Uh, introduction, because this is just an introduction to this, um, to, to this lineup of solutions Correct. we can provide. Um, how much normally for a PCR while uh, uh, turnkey desk? I would say while it's easy to, let's say, to give a, um, a rough idea about mm -hmm. a, a, product, um, a master control room, okay. uh, because let's say, um, uh, it's, it's, let's say it's easier, there are less uh, items involved. A production can be very, very complex okay. and can be scaled up to match, you know, need of very, very big broadcasters. If you move back to the previous uh, uh, configuration here, this was a 4K mm -hmm. setup. Uh, we did it in, uh, in the Emirates, I think. Uh, it was maybe Dubai. Okay. And, uh, you know, as you see, with audio desk uh, and video desk, this is just a medium-high solution. Mm -hmm. I would say it's little, uh, it's not that easy to give uh, a figure, but uh, yeah, depend on audio mixers and so on. So okay. I would say just ask. Yes. And we will be glad to answer. That's great. So just uh, do not hesitate to send us an email. You can write directly to us, uh, to the sales team of uh, Axeltech at the uh, sales at axeltechnology.com Excel address. Uh, so both uh, me and my colleague uh, uh, Ilaria Malucelli will manage uh, all the requests coming from, uh, from abroad. And uh, my colleague Cristiano Cinelli will manage the requests coming from uh, Italy. And, uh, of Special course, we thank. will ask uh, for uh, Enrico's help, no <laughs> as way. usual. The, uh, the old team, and special thanks yeah. to also to Stefano. Of that course, is which is helping us from Rome, uh, managing uh, yeah. uh, all these live sessions, actually, because he's organizing yeah, them since the very beginning of this the boss, yeah. COVID experience. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to Gianluca. He's uh, next to us. You can see him, yeah, but he's no, helping but us at the video mixer. He's our director, so thank <laughs> you very And he's running much. something similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. So thank you very much for being with us today. And, uh, of course, we will be waiting for your requests and for your comments. So please write to us, and uh, we will see you very soon, very hopefully. Soon. Okay, so thank bye. You. Thank bye -bye. you. Thank you.